Hey YouTubers, welcome back to another Tesla vlog with me, Adam Well Informed. So I am very fortunate to have a wife and two lovely children at the grand age of five and three. My oldest very rarely refers to the car now as the car. It's a Tesla this and a Tesla that. She can even spot different Teslas on the road, which her daddy is very impressed with, as you can probably tell. When purchasing the Tesla Model 3, it had to be a practical family car first. I came from a Seat Leon hatchback, which if you're not familiar with, it runs on the same platform as the VW Golf or Audi A3. Having a sedan slash saloon means there are certain advantages and disadvantages associated with that. But is having a Tesla Model 3 a practical option? Does an electric car hold any advantages or disadvantages itself? So I'm doing this video now as I feel like the kids, the wife and I have tested the car enough to get a good feel of whether the Tesla Model 3 is a practical family car for a family of four and whether that could actually stretch to a family of five. So I'll try cover anything and everything when it comes to family practicality for this video. The video is also broken down into sections so you can easily go back and watch certain sections which I think is pretty neat if you want to convince your partner to purchase a cheeky Tesla by showing the section they need reassuring the most on. So starting with the back seat space and storage, you can see there's absolutely loads of foot room even on the driver's side. So I think I'm like 5 foot 10 or 11 or something like that. So even adding an inch or two back on the front seat won't make a world of difference for your back seat passengers. If you have teenage kids, they'll be even more happy with the space even if they get shoved in the middle seat. That's because being an electric car, it's actually been developed and designed to be purely an electric car only. Therefore, there are certain efficiencies that Tesla can make with the space that you can't do with a gas, petrol, diesel car. So by design, they can maximize that space. They don't need to make any compromises to fit a gas, petrol, diesel car. They don't need that clunky transmission box in the foot area of the middle seat user. So your kids won't need to share the legroom of their fellow siblings. That's a fight avoided right there. You can even get a child to walk from one side of the car to the other easily without that clunky mountain in the middle. Teenagers may even crack a smile when they realize they can watch TikTok and charge their phone or tablet on the way to school. When it comes to storage, I was unexpectedly surprised with how generous the door pockets are. The front door pockets easily hold our drinks bottles and that extends to the back doors too. Back of the seats have those thin pockets you're probably already used to, but the center console space is a hoarder's paradise. In typical dad fashion, I just empty my pockets and it's a bottomless pit. Baby wipes, game controllers, masks, just general junk. That's both sections of the center console too. Cup holders are also a generous size, making it a coffee flask friendly, but not so great on the slim 250ml cans you usually get with energy drinks. But you can't realistically have it both ways. Don't worry though, it won't spill, just isn't as snug. Even the back seats get cup holders in the armrests, making the young ones feel like they're in first class. Moving on to a hot topic, car seats. So we've had four different car seats since December, and that's not because of the Tesla itself. We had a big 360 degree jelly spin car seat. That was a great car seat, but my youngest had just grown out of it. The car has ISO fixed clips, and these are recessed deep into the car seat crease. This makes the seat feel incredibly safe. I personally had an issue clipping the car seat into the ISOFIX, but my wife was like a whippet, so it was clearly something I was doing wrong each time. We still have a non-360 degree Jolie car seat, and it's still fairly big, but not as big as this spin version. And we have a slimmer Jolie car seat as well for my oldest now. The seat belt locks are recessed into the seat themselves, and the middle seat buckle can even fold in when it's not in use. With two seats in, we can even pull the armrest out with minimum effort and you can fit a young teenager in between the two seats if there's an older child in the family. I tried fitting myself in the middle seats with my rather large backside and whilst I managed to fit into it somehow, I just wouldn't feel comfortable and safe for my kids either. But then again, I am a grown man, my butt has probably grown as well over the past few months and I'd never ride in the back. Final point in the section is having three car seats. Is it possible? Well, with two slimmer car seats and one medium seat, I just couldn't make it work. If the medium one was a little bit smaller, maybe a booster seat, I think we could probably get three in. But having to maximize the space, you need to have space maximizing car seats, really. A point that mainstream reviews always seem to miss is the cleanup. I have to cover if it's easy to clean. All you parents out there do it religiously, but how easy and convenient is it to 
to clean down a Tesla from crumbs and sticky handprints. You'll be pleased to hear the most convenient tool is with you all the time, baby wipes. It's partly why I keep a package in the center console. These are literally so easy and convenient to use. The seat will spark up again and the surrounding interior will be refreshed again in no time. I also have these car seat covers on to protect the seats, but it also helps collate some of the crumbs. These also give me a couple extra pockets of storage, which is pretty handy as a little rubbish bin for wrappers. So I will definitely recommend these for anyone with car seats. Tesla or no Tesla, they're just universal covers that go with the headrest. For cleaning the floor, a good old hoover will do the job. I purchased these mats to make it easier for me to hoover. I love how the mat for the back seats is one long mat, making it easy to hoover on top of. If you're interested in either the protectors or the car mats, I put Amazon links in my kit list in the description below. When it comes to official safety ratings, the Model 3 achieved the lowest probability of injury of any car ever tested by NHTSA. How reassuring is that to hear as a parent? Probably the most important and overlooked feature is its safety capabilities. It has a five star NCAT rating and I'm showing you their crash footage they made on screen now. So how is it so safe? Well, Tesla highlight a number of reasons for this, which I quote from their blog. Primarily, the Model 3 benefits from its all electric architecture and powertrain design, which consists of a strong, rigid passenger compartment, fortified battery pack, and overall low center of gravity. These safety fundamentals help to prevent intrusion into the cabin and battery modules, reduce rollover risk, and distribute cash forces systematically away from the cabin, all while providing the foundation for our superior front crumple zone that is optimized to absorb energy and crush more efficiently. In layman terms, if you were to have a frontal crash, you have no engine, so the design of the front of the car can factor in better crumple zones, distribute crash forces, and allows better weight distribution than a typical ICE car. It's not just about crashes though, NCAP also demonstrates its strong safety prevention features too, just like this footage you can see now. When it actually comes to picking an electric vehicle, according to a study by Peugeot at the end of 2020, almost 70 kids between the age of 7 and 12 wanted an EV or plug-in vehicle. These kids understand the health and environmental benefits of driving such vehicles, and thankfully, Tesla have provided us with a vehicle that makes it possible without sacrificing safety, performance, and general appearance. My kids love it for multiple reasons, from the skylight windows to YouTube capabilities. They even helped me charge the car, one even helped me change my aero caps with the wheel kits. It's just great to get them involved and to try to get them to understand the environmental benefits and to make them feel like they're contributing too. I can directly link electric turbines to the car. They can see, interact and understand how clean this all is. At the end of the day, this will be our children and ultimately our grandkids that will receive the environmental benefits of the decisions that we make today. So before I delve deeper, please remember to support my channel by hitting the like, subscribe button and the notification bell. Just a quick gesture really helps me out and it helps you enjoy more Tesla content. So a family car wouldn't be a family car without practical suitable boot space. The car officially holds 425 litres when coupled with the front. But what does that mean in practical terms? So I thought long and hard to give you a real idea of what we could use to demonstrate with everyday items. So I picked two large suitcases. These fit within the boots with space for a large kit bag and a bit more near the wheel space. I'm not actually sure if this space has an official name, but I like to call it the milk spot. Whenever I do a shop run, the milk always sits there because it will just stay right up and any leakages would be contained. It's just super convenient. I know it's not unique, but it's still convenient to me. In regards to pushchairs, we have a Baby Zen Yo-Yo, and it's hands down one of the best pushchairs you can buy. We've had a fair bunch of different pushchairs, but because it's so versatile and travel friendly, it fits easily within the boot, and we still have loads of space. Even if you have a curry cot, we'd still have more boot space on top, and the hidden section underneath, plus the milk spot. If you really need to, you can put the seats down for even more storage, exactly like any other car, but that means taking the baby car seats out, so I rarely do that. Then you have the front space, which is a bonus space created by having a battery and an electric motor over a standard combustion engine. This bonus space, you can just afford to be a bit creative with it if you wanted to be. Uh, you could potentially keep a small cooler or a store picnic bits maybe in there. 
where it's isolated. It's just an example. It's just convenient again to have. So moving on to entertainment. Teslas have the best entertainment packages, hands down. Fancy a Christmas song or your kids want Peppa Pig songs? Spotify has got your back. Keeping the kids in the car whilst the other half is in the shops? Boot up YouTube, watch them stay occupied for the duration. Maybe you have a romantic date night with the wife planned. Drive to see the sunset in a romantic location and grab a drive through on the way, then watch Netflix until the sun drops. Or for those teenagers, we have the Tesla games, but they may prefer a blast on a quick game of FIFA or PUBG. This is entirely possible with a little workaround trick. I have a whole video dedicated to how it's possible. I'll link it on the screen for you to take a look at if you're interested. If you have young kids, you can even introduce the fart mode to get them cackling and pointing fingers. It's unbelievable how much fun you can drag out from a simple function. But the entertainment section doesn't stop there. We have over the air updates, which new games and video apps are introduced at any time. So it will only get bigger and better. When it comes to security, the child lock and window lock is easily switched on via the screen. In my old car, I'd have to open a door to check if this, if this was still on, but this is all accessible on the screen. If you have your child in the front passenger seat, you'll want to know how to turn the airbag off for, for certain car seat setups, and this can be just toggled on the screen also. When it comes to door handles, you've probably seen enough videos over YouTube to understand what you need to do, but for the kids, they will struggle at first, which I personally like. At such a small age, I can still actively manage how much they open and manage the swing of the door, but older children will work it out just fine, and the doors are not super lightweight, so they won't over-open it if you know what I mean. Another anticipated comment that I'll get on the Tesla Model 3 will be about road trips. So with the restrictions in place, it's difficult to make long trips for us at the moment in the UK, but when it does, even with a standard range plus, I can still do our day-to-day -day driving easily. Driving to other cities in the Midlands again, will be a piece of cake for me, but when I need to go a little bit further and I'm doing over three hours worth of driving, I have kids, they need a pee pee after three hours. So I can combine the two with a little extra effort, so I can stop at a supercharger, go to the loo, grab some snacks, and within a 20 minute window, I'm back at 80% and can get to my destination with ease. If you want more details on range and what's capable, take a look at my SR Plus first long range video comparison, where I can help you simulate long trips to help give you an idea on charging, charging time, and squash any sort of charging and range anxiety at the same time. Conclusions. Is having a Tesla Model 3 a great family car? You know, it's, it's great for the environment, but your kids will absolutely love it. Mine absolutely adore the car. Thankfully, it's practical for his parents too. Loads of storage options, easy to clean down, packed with safety and entertainment options. If I had one thing that I could change, it's to have a bigger boot entry. But then again, the Model Y will have that being a hatchback. But ultimately, I'd only use that for when I do tip runs, just to squash it as much in the car as possible. I do not need it for the fam typical family outings. So for me, there is no need to wait for a Model Y, and the Model 3 is a practical car for us. If you're interested in purchasing a Tesla and you've managed to convince your half this Tesla Model 3 is the best family sedan, saloon, on the car on the market, then don't forget to use a referral code to purchase a Tesla or you'll miss out on 1,000 free supercharger miles. I put a referral link in the description if you want to use mine. That's it, now you've been informed. Let me know what you thought of this video. If you have a Model 3, do you agree with me, disagree with me? Don't forget to support my channel by hitting the like, subscribe, and sharing the video with your friends and family. I really enjoy doing these Tesla vlogs and any support is hugely welcomed. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Thank you.